Previously on Guardians of the Galaxy. The Celestial One must deliver the Forge to the Sacred Shrine. There you can unlock its true power, or destroy it forever. And that true power is what? Returning anyone, from any time period, back to the realm of the living. Nebula, look, I don't know you, like, super well, even though I've seen, well, more than I'd like to of your life. But, man, you obviously cared about Gamora. And I think you still do, so... Please, sister, give me a chance. All right. I'm okay. Mother. Rise. My beautiful son, you have been away for too long. <laughs> you were too weak, too selfish to destroy the forge. And for that, I thank you. Now our empire, our people, shall rise again! I have everything I require. You and your odd assortment of creatures. The first casualties of my war. My work has only begun. In case you weren't paying attention, we took out Thanos. The Mad Titan? Putting you in your place? That'll be nothing. Fool! Even still you challenge me? Oh, man, she even sounds like old Thanos. Where do bad guys all learn to talk like that? Kill them. Okay, revenge, I get it! Hey guys, a little help here? What's the matter, Quill? Yeah. Is the big mean lady picking on you? Stay down. Just 
is not your <gasps> oh, oh, In all oh, of your tales oh, and prophecies, oh, did you happen to see this? Oh, oh. Mantis! Oh, right! Not working! It should only be an hour or so before we get there. You excited to go camping? Of course! Can I start the fire? Okay, but no lighter fluid this time. <laughs> <laughs> uh, how are you feeling? I'll be fine, Peter. I, I, I promise. Mm. Okay. I'm... Feeling a lot better with the new medicine I got. It'll just be nice to have a weekend with you. Away from our problems. It's a lost cause. We're too far from town. <laughs> Give it a rest. Give it a rest? And sit here in silence? Ugh, no way. Mom? I'm okay. We're okay. What? What, what happened? Oh, how did... How did we... Ah! We were just driving along and then you... You passed out. I'm so sorry, Peter. If you weren't here, it would have been much, much worse. This is my fault. I... I shouldn't have been acting like nothing's... What are you... It's getting worse, baby. I was supposed to check into the hospital this morning. But I just wanted to give you one last happy moment to remember me by. Before they plug me into some damn machine. I should have told you. I thought I could beat it. No, Mom. Don't talk like that. Peter, you need to understand what I'm saying. We all have to go, sooner or later. But it ain't over quite yet. So what do you say, hmm? One last adventure together? 
We can still get to the campground before dark. It should be a clear night. Every star will be out. Okay, Mom. Let's keep going. Thank you, baby. We'll make sure this memory's a keeper. So we're all in agreement then. We sell the ship and split the dough. You promised money, not the tasty combination of water and flour. Quill's just knocked out, you morons. He isn't dead. But I already called dibs on his stuff. He's got tons of earth junk in his room. I'm sure that'd fetch a few units at the trader's market. I am Groot. What could you possibly want with his jacket? It ain't gonna fit. I am Groot. As a memento? You are such a sap. Thanks, guys. Appreciate the concern. Really. Oh! Hey, P! We were totally looking out for you, man. Your stuff, your legacy, that's real important. It should be sold for as much money as possible. Oh, we're not getting back up there. Great time to have my jet boots busted. We'll have to find another way out. Hey, Rocket. Ah, look. It's our troubled leader, Peter Quill. Just when I think things couldn't get worse, just when I think we've hit rock bottom, you managed to find us something lower. This time, literally. Yeah. Well, I am to please. Not a compliment, but okay. Hey, this is where I plan to starve and die, so, uh, find your own area. Find us a way out of here, man. Jeez, Pete. Leave me in peace. Jeez, Pete. Leave me in peace. What's up, Mantis? Oh, hello. Is everything okay? I just wanted to thank you. For catching me. Anytime. And... I'm sorry for intruding on your memory of your mother. She seemed like a nice woman. Yeah. She was. I've never been in a place like this before. I don't like it. It's so cold and dark in here. Hey, Drax. You see any way out of here? I have looked up. I have looked down. I have even turned in a complete circle. There is no exit. Hmm. All right. We'll keep looking. I will not rest until I find that treacherous exit. If there is a way out, I will find it. It cannot hide. Do not distract me, Peter. I must concentrate. Hey, Groot. You holding up okay? I am Groot. Uh... He says he's thirsty. Uh, okay. I am Groot? No. He doesn't have anything to drink, Groot. You just have to wait it out. I am Groot. Yeah, yeah, we know, buddy. Better just ignore him, Pete. He's stuck in a loop. I... am... Groot? I... am... Groot? Hey, Gamora. Nebula's really hurt. Maybe beyond repair. I couldn't stop it. This is what happens when someone gets too close to me. I've never seen her this bad before. 
She's tough, but that may not cut it this time. I know what happened is terrible, but you should be proud of her. We got through to her. That doesn't fix this. We let Nebula into the Guardians and look where it got her. We have to live with that. Please, Peter, just leave me alone. Don't tell me you're afraid of that little guy. <laughs> yes, what a ridiculous looking creature. On my world, tunnel worms are filthy. They eat only rock and dirt. I've tried this for myself. It was incredibly destructive to my digestive system. I ruined many toilets. That's friendly enough, I guess. It... is. It's okay. It doesn't want to harm us. It's just... curious. Curious about how we taste, probably. Is it chewing through that stone? Better that than us. Getting chewed to death is top five on my all-time fears list. Hungry, little fella? Want something to eat? There you go, you ugly little rock-eating guy. Huh. Bioluminescence. Probably how this thing communicates. Or draws in its unwitting quill-sized prey. It wants to stay with us. Maybe we should give it a name. Like a pet. I am excellent at naming things. I shall call it... Uh, blue. I'd call it... Hungry. No, no! Its name should be obviously a death trap. Cause that's what it is. That's not any good. Well, I think the name is extremely appropriate. No, not the name. That it's hungry. The creature is just a tiny nothing. It poses no harm to us. I am constantly hungry and have rarely injured you all. How about... Bowie? What is a Bowie? He's a musician we treat like a space god on Earth. I do not see how that is better than blue. The creature is blue. <laughs> Bowie is fine. Great. The Guardians have a mascot. I am Gru. I'm the co-pilot. I ain't no mascot. Well, would you look at that? Bowie rocks. I told you guys. He's kidding us out of here. Wait, wait, wait. No one has a problem with this. The death trap thing was not just some cute expression. It's our only way out, Rocket. <sighs> I'm putting an I told you so in my pocket for later use. Peter. What about Nebula? <sighs> hey, buddy. Can you carry her? I am Groot. Thanks, Groot. Hey, Bowie, wait up! were this beautiful, maybe I wouldn't be so psychically scarred. Look at that. What is that? I am Groot! Whoa, what are you doing, Pete? 
That crystal there is natural thorium. Just looking at one the wrong way can cause it to explode. Worth a ton of units, but highly volatile. Huh. I'm actually a little surprised no one's mined this planet dry.